my first question for you. Are you a Cubs fan? I know you're from Chicago. They're in the World Series. You know what? I'm not going to get political. This is dangerous territory <laughs> here. I am from Chicago. I support all the Chicago teams when they're doing well. I am admittedly a fair weather fan. Okay. So right now, by all means, go Cubs! Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Cardinals fan, okay. but I'm, I'm all about the Cubs winning. Yeah. They deserve it, you know. It's been, what, seven, 71 years, <laughs> I believe. Time. So th they have it coming, and, you know, the Sox have had their moment. <laughs> and I, I, think, I think this is like the first time in my lifetime that they've gotten this close and um, yeah I, I'm excited for the city yeah I'm, it's kind of a shame I'm not there right now to be feel that energy but you know I, hey you're here celebrating big things yeah, totally yeah yeah so you are one of the you know the main protagonists in this show eyewitness what has the whole experience been like for you um, it's unbelievable I, I can't believe uh, I, I only moved to LA uh, about a year ago and um, here I am on a pink carpet uh, promoting a show that I'm starring in and, and not to mention it's an incredible show that I'm so proud to be a part of and uh, it, it all happened kind of so fast like in the blink of an eye it was like one minute I was moving to LA the next minute I booked this show and like now I'm here I, I, I feel like I'm I, I'm in a dream, you know, like I'm on a cloud. It's yeah. it's great. And Catherine Hardwick earlier said talked about how you guys went to her house for She's the initial here? yes, for the initial chemistry read. What were we did you have nerves going into that or what was that whole experience? You know, I went to Catherine's house like <laughs> four times over the course of the chemistry reads because it wasn't as easy as just one read. Okay, we're gonna skip um, forward, there was sorry. A, there was <laughs> about a two and a half, three week process where we were reading with a bunch of different guys and trying to um, find the right the right match for Lucas and um, you know the first time I went there I was nervous and by the last time I was there I, I felt like I lived there. I was like taking a nap on her couch, like I was going into her refrigerator and like looking in her pantry like can we get some food in here? Like I, I made myself at home but she, she does that. She has that effect on people. And what does it feel like to we were saying I forget who exactly was telling me this but it was like two seconds ago that you know, it's never rewind been done rewind you know that the it's a thriller yeah. but the protagonists are gay characters yeah. and that's never been done in TV what does it feel like to be a part of that because that's huge um, I, I'm incredibly uh, proud to be a part of this progressive storytelling and I, I think that it's just gonna show a lot of the especially LGBTQ youth that their their stories are important and their their love is just as impactful and um, able to be an interesting story for a mainstream audience and there's no reason that that we shouldn't see more shows with protagonists uh, that that are leading the the force and they can be LGBTQ and also um, it can be a mainstream crime thriller you know it doesn't have to be a, a genre anymore a sub genre it can just be a part of you know mainstream culture and, yes, I, and that's really that's amazing yeah. well congratulations thank you've only been here a year so I feel like we're gonna see way more from you so, hope so. keep kicking some butt so. thank you so <laughs> have much. fun tonight it's nice thanks. meeting you thanks